Well, everyone that's represented either photographically or in the books and some of the recordings uh, has a significance in the history of rock and roll. The photos were all taken for the book that I wrote in 1992 by the same photographer who was a friend of mine, Joseph Sia. In the books display case, there are books about the development of the music industry, women in rock and roll, and the, the various scholarly approaches to studying music. That was on purpose because I wanted to show the range of the books that I was reading and I'm interested in because that's really how you study a subject. It's not that I just collected books about the bands that I liked. I collected books about the industry. There's a whole section about what was called the Pied Pipers of Rock and Roll, the early disc jockeys in the 50s and the 60s who made rock and roll popular by broadcasting it on the radio. As a newspaper reporter, people send you things all the time. They'll send you books to review. They'll send you records to review. A lot of the records that are in that case are reviewed. So I had a definite interest in it. And as a result, I would be able to collect things. And I decided to keep a lot of it because I thought it was kind of interesting. And if it said collector's item on it or special edition, I kept it. I think people will find it interesting looking at some of this now historic material, which scans my lifetime pretty much. And a lot of people I've seen, faculty and staff who scan the generations, stopping and looking and reading because this is part of their, their heritage and their life. Popular culture changes with the people as things change in history. And when I speak to classes, and I have, as I have done over the years, I usually end with the question, what are you listening to now that's still going to be listened to in 100 years? That's the stuff that's going to last. It's called the Good Music and Illustrated Record of Rock and Roll. Because my show is called Good Music. And it's based on Duke Ellington's statement. There's two kinds of music, good music and the other kind. And that's the way I program my radio show, and that's what I tried to do with the exhibit.